Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a beautiful car. It's a 1972 Buick GS. Absolutely the nicest one I've ever seen. I got Frank here. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. How are we doing today, Frank? I'm doing great, Mike. Dude, what a car. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, uh, it's a body off restoration. It is a 72 Grand Sport. Okay. Uh, originally it was a 350 car and I made it all the way to a 455 Stage 1. Uh, everything on the car is original. The motor transmission is year correct for the vehicle. Uh, it's one out of 600 in these colors. It's called burnished copper. Okay. It's got the aluminum top. Uh, 15 by 8s all the way around with the bigger tires. Uh, I did put a 3 inch exhaust system, custom made. Sounds uh, incredible, Frank, it really does. Yeah, it's awesome. It, uh, it sounds great and it's right out the back bumpers. Uh, turbo 400 in it for the uh, automatic. I got the, uh, like you said, it's the automatic in the car. Okay. It's a fully loaded AC car, tilt wheel, factory gauges, factory tack. It's loaded. It's uh, loaded. Those uh, M30 bumpers, right? Yeah, M30 bumper on the car. Very Sick. rare for that. Uh, it's got the chin spoiler, the rear deck spoiler on it. Um, I don't know what to say, I let the car speak for itself. I won three car shows with it, and I only took the car out three times after building it. <laughs> wow. Uh, it took me two years to do it, but it was well worth it, as you can see. Yeah, it is uh, awesome. It's a beautiful piece. I, I let the car speak for itself, you know? It's loaded, too. I don't think there's another option you could put on it, right? No, not at all. Uh, basically, everything's, it's got the uh, speedometer alert on her. Um, it's got the in-dash uh, RPM uh, tack. It's got the AC, like you said, it works. It's a cassette player in the car. Okay. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is power windows or power, uh, or, or power door locks, but that wasn't a feature back in 72. Yeah. Form, so. I noticed too, you got that Moser rear back there. Yeah, that's Kind of peeking a, out. Yeah, that's a, it's a built for the car. Uh, it's a Moser Engineering built the rear for me. Everything to spec. I do have 370, 373 uh, gear ratio in it. Oh, a nice and, cruiser, uh, right? Yeah, it's a nice cruiser. About three grand, you're doing around 55, 60 miles an hour. Oh, that's nice. It's just an eye catcher when it sounds, you know. Who did the motor? Uh, Wildcat Performance did the motor for me. Oh, they do uh, only Buicks. Only Buicks. And uh, it was done to every spec to the stage one. Okay. I added a cam to it, just a little bit more. And I did a set of headers on it with an aluminum intake, which I had powder coated to match my headers. It's got what, about 475? 475 okay. horse, 530 foot pounds of torque. Jeez. Right off the diamond. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she gets around really good. You don't see them in the burnished copper. You just don't. It's one out of 600 in that color. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, they, they had different colors back in the day. A lot of people thought it was like a Cortez gold. But this, they uh, came out in 72. The 71972 Grand Sport 455 Stage 1 car was the muscle car of the year in car craft. Oh, wow. So this is one out of 5,000. You know, it really does a nice balance of sport and luxury. Exactly. You know, that's muscle what it is. and luxury. That's the, was the Buick's. This was known as the Buick, uh, the businessman's muscle car back in the day. Ah. Everybody went for the Chevelles, the yeah. Novas, the Camaros, but this was more, a lot more money. So they called it the businessman's muscle car, or the gentleman's muscle car. You got it. Wow. Fully functional uh, Ram Air. Oh, Ram Air is fully functional. Everything's, uh, you know, snarkled the whole nine yards. Those are the original rims? chamber? Uh, one chamber actually. One chamber, so, okay. Uh, once you get into it, you hear it raw. Nice. But as it's idling, it gives you a nice smooth ride. Beautiful. As you can see, that's the original uh, gauges that I put in the car in the bottom to be all here correct. Uh, brand new interior. I had the skins done on them. Uh, Man. And like I said, I can't speak enough for the car. Really? You, you know, went over the top? Oh yeah, my god. You know, I had to do it that way. 
I had to do it that way. We got a build sheet, right? Yep, it's got a build sheet. I got the original, actually the owner's manual of the car. Okay. And it also has the brochure that you rarely see in 1972 where they showed all the cars. Wow, how cool. Like it I is said, I gorgeous. Three car shows with it. Right out of the gate, out. huh? Right out of the gate. Sick. Uh, they put you in the 68 to 72, and I won both of them, and I, then I won a uh, overall car show. Wow. So, yeah. This vinyl top is gorgeous, too. Jeez. on the car at the moment so 80 when I did, miles on the resto on the resto it only has 80 miles on it I did it when it turned 124,000 original wow incredible I have never seen one so nice yeah that's what a lot of people say they uh, they look at it they've never seen them before so that's why I love going up to the guys with the Chevelles and everything and saying hey what's up <laughs> yeah you know it's it's just it says a lot for the uh, I don't know, it's just not your everyday Camaro Chevelle, you know? No, that's what I love about it. I love having something a little different than everybody else. And I figure uh, my dad was a Buick guy, he turned me into it. Cool. And that's where I got actually the plates were off the 71 Skywalk. Get out of here. So I grabbed the register the car with that. Well, let's check under the goods. Check out the trunk and the build sheet. This is all painted up to the, uh, the original splatter gray paint that they had in the trunk back in the day. Yep. Um, that is the 72 brochure that I was showing you about. The original manual. The build sheet on the car. Wow. The tire iron on the stuff spare tire. Oh, everything's complete, sure. Oh yeah, definitely. And unfortunately, I think it's pretty cool, but that's how the spare tire came. Just a little cover on top. That's it, huh? And you pull it out and you change the bad boy. That's so cool, Frank. 